when a relationship goes bad, when it goes bad, men, we don't know how to break up. We don't know how to be men. We just go and try to cheat with somebody else and then let the relationship fade away. You start an argument. Well, I don't want to be here anyway. Well, get the out. And as you walk up, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Women, y'all break up, but y'all break up for nothing. You only break up because you're tired of the man you with. He ain't do nothing wrong. You got a good man. But you want to break up and you, don't, you just do anything. Men, we are clueless. We don't even know why they're breaking up with us. That is the sad part. It can start off as a normal conversation. But this is how you know when your woman is ready to get rid of your ass. You know what? You're not the man that I thought you would be. <laughs> Men are very confused. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What kind of man you want me to be? The man that you're not being. <laughs> you're still confused, but I don't, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Hold up. Are you raising your voice? I didn't raise my voice. I'm only asking you, what the f are you talking about? That's what I'm talking about. You cursing at me? I ain't cursing at you. Why the f are you raising your voice and cursing at me? This is the that I'm talking about. Looking at you, you getting mad. You want to hit me, right? But you want to, you want to. I can tell you get mad, you cursing. Yo, you a crazy of <laughs> how you gonna call me out my name now. <laughs> now you done broke the up. You didn't do nothing wrong. She don't even give you a reason, but it's over. She done turned you into a <laughs> hit people. You can't control your temper. And you called out her name. And all you wanted to find out was what did you do wrong? And they never got an answer because they make it up as they go along. Men need to find out when your woman cheat, they give away signs. Every woman gives away a sign when they cheat. Yes, sir. When I was with a woman, she cheated on me with a football player. Hurt my heart. I should have fed the signs. <laughs> running around the house, hurt one. <laughs> In the middle of nothing, hurt two, hurt three. I always tell women they rule. I try to leave this joke alone, but somebody told me to say it and I said I'm gonna say it because they're gonna put it on tape. So after this, I'm not gonna say the joke no more because it's a secret that women don't know their power. Some of y'all think it's in your coochie. It's not. Your coochie's overrated. 
You ask men questions during sex. What the f are we supposed to say? You on top of us. Is this, is this the best you had? Nah. You all right. Of course it's the best. You are the best, mama. <laughs> I have to tell this joke because this lady, pro I promised her I would tell her because it's the power in the vocal. Every man wants to hear that he's the man. That's why we ask you dumb questions. Who's the is this? <laughs> and some of y'all from the hood, and you telling the truth right there. This, this James. You better hurry up, he about to come. He about to come back upstairs. Who's You asked the wrong goddamn questions. Women, you can get anything you want. You can get a car tonight. All you gotta do is feed a man's ego. Some of y'all been together in a relationship 10 years. You know your man's body, but you gotta do something crazy to keep the shit sparked. Just do crazy shit. When you go home tonight and fuck, cause some of y'all gonna fuck tonight. <laughs> when you're about to have sex, let him get undressed. You keep your clothes on. You've been with him 10 years, you know his body, but tonight you act like it's different. As soon as he come in, oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh my God. And what you gonna do with all that right there? Watch you boost his ego. What you talking about all this? What you talking about all this? Same little dingling you been getting for 10 years. Tonight he think it's a different dingling. Ladies, you have to use your power. It's in your vocal. Black women, your power is the way you curse. Nobody curses like a black woman. Nobody, especially during sex. Oh, wait a minute. You in my goddamn stomach, mother <laughs> Now you don't boost his ego again, word. <laughs> Be in stomachs. Latino women is the way you cry. Nobody cries like a Latino woman. You don't like pain. So, how do you mean? They put me pain, stop me, you killing all this I can't take it no more, stop me, you're dying me. White women, you got a gift. I've never been with a white woman. But I seen it on the porno flicks. <laughs> white women, oh God, I want your <laughs> in my wall. I want your <laughs> in my wall. That's a gift. Jamaican women, you got a gift. Jamaican women stop you right away. They don't like pain. Pull it out, never that. Slow down, kill up. What do you want to do? You want to lash up the boy? The f is mashed up the boom boom. <laughs> they stop you. Poor line, baby line. But the one who gets y'all, right away, she make black men feel like we kings. Them little Asian women, soon as you call them, they act like they scared of black men. Come here, Wingaline. Ah, no. Come at your black and dick on my zucchini, Wingaline. Come here, Wiggly! Nah! She the only one that can call you a black and get away with it. I said, stop a black and stop. 
So I'm about to dick in the wing and leave. You all must have kidding me, dick and hit the hot. Why so much you dick and hit the hot? I say, stop a black and the stop. But you know, stop. <laughs> now the one I can't have sex with I'm not gonna lie she can be beautiful she can have they got that beautiful skin but I can't take that voice and you see a lot of them on 125th <laughs> them Africans I can't f with them it's just they, they voice f me up <laughs> Come here, Umbele. No, I tell you too stupid, and you don't stop it. Your dick is hurting my heart. You make me cry. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that joke off. The last time I did. An African lady met me outside. I want to talk to you right now. <laughs> Why do you say I can't take this? <laughs> I would fuck you up, half ready. <laughs> Africans done took the f over. They did. They used to wear dashikis and sandals. You knew who the f was African when they came at you. As soon as you seen him, you're like, he's African. They never spoke English. All of a sudden, throughout time, they learned English well. They even adapted to the New York culture. You saw them. Back in the days, you knew who was African because they had on the dashiki with the pants to match. The sandal with the toe, feet ashy, then a f And he didn't give a f it's freezing outside. That goddamn toe, pinky toe dead. <laughs> now, they done got Americanized. The one thing that I learned, when you're young, you go to the club, you want to meet a woman. If you're a woman, you want to meet a man if you don't have one. That's what you go to the club for. Now that we're older, you have a woman. You go to the woman, you come to comedy shows with your woman. If your woman is a good looking woman, you can walk to the bathroom. And if a brother steps to her, walks right up to her, and then you come, out of respect, he be like, my bad, bro. I didn't know. That's cool. You walk away. Not Africans. <laughs> no, sir. You can walk in here holding your girl hand. This and walk right up to her. Hey, lady! <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you be like, money, you don't see me with her? My brother, I am not talking to you. <laughs> if I don't say nothing to you, don't f***ing say nothing to me. Mind your f***ing beast next. Like I was saying, hey, lady! <laughs> How are you doing? Goddamn Africans. <laughs> There's a lot of different cultures. I love Puerto Ricans. I love y'all because I have to say, it doesn't matter what the situation is. If it's a tragedy, y'all still celebrate. <laughs> Hector got shot. Okay. Hector want us to do a party. <laughs> As soon as you walk in the building, you start to hear that Latino shit. You be like, they're having the party. You don't mind, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Hector 
a shot, okay? <laughs> now, it's three o'clock in the morning. You ready to go to sleep. But Hector don't give a f The party turns up. people do. We go upstairs and knock on the door. <laughs> Open this motherfucking door, Hector! Hector come out with a t-shirt, drawers, and chicletas. What happened? <laughs> you be like, you don't turn that shit down. Papa, listen! I put the invitation under your door. <laughs> if you don't come to the party, that's your business. Everybody in the building is in the park. <laughs> you the only motherfucker with a job. <laughs> Black men always be tough. If you don't turn that sh down, I'm calling the police. Papa, I don't give a f who you call. <laughs> I'm the super. <laughs> I lock the door downstairs. Nobody else is coming to the back. <laughs> I always try to educate, <laughs> try to educate my black people because we are the only people in the world that, that accepts the word no. We accept it for anything. The word no is the most powerful word in the dictionary. And when you accept it and you don't challenge it, it's the only word that definitely gets a reaction. No matter if it's from your wife, your kids, whoever. As Soon as you say something to them. Mommy, can I go outside? Yes. Mommy, can I have a dollar? Yes. Mommy, can I go to Ch Sean's house? No, no. <laughs> it gives a reaction. Your husband, baby, I want a little bit. Come on. Yes. Baby, I want to do chokey chokey. <laughs> yes. Baby, I want you to turn around. No. <laughs> Why not? No woman wants to do that. You gotta sneak it on. <laughs> no other race accepts no but us. Nobody. You can walk into a bank, try to get a loan right now, and they tell you no, and you won't even challenge it. Well, Mr. Jackson, we overlooked your application, and unfortunately, we have to decline you, and we'll send you a letter in the mail. You'll be like, all right, thank you. <laughs> White people don't accept no. Same scenario. Well, Mr. Papawawowski, <laughs> we overlooked your application. And unfortunately, we have to decline you. You'll get a letter in the mail. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Some, something's not right. I would like to talk to your manager. Your district manager, not that <laughs> No, you're gonna get a write-up. You don't know who my dad is. Latinos don't accept no. Same scenario. Well, Mr. Rodriguez, we overlooked your application and unfortunately at this time, we have to decline you. You'll get a letter in the mail. <laughs> Hold on, Papa. <laughs> There's a problem right now. You see, I don't know what happened. I tell you, I come to the bank, I say hello. You say hello. <laughs> I said, how you doing today? I'm fine, you fine? We fine today. <laughs> I tell you, I say, hey, Papa, I need a little bit of money. I want you to tell me how to get the little bit of the money. <laughs> so you say, okay, one minute. Hey, I'm right here, one minute. <laughs> so something, right? You put the paper under the window. 
I'm by myself, I take the Bible. <laughs> I don't read all, all together too so much. <laughs> you know, I see, but I don't know how to say to you. <laughs> so I ask you for your help, and you say, okay, I'm going to help you, I'm so happy. You help me. <laughs> so you tell me, put my name right here, right? I put my name. You say, fill out my address. Guess what happened, Papa? I fill out my address. <laughs> you say, sign. I say, why is the sign? You say, that's when you do the sign in the name. I say, oh, I'm so stupid. I put the sign. <laughs> so I do the sign, and I give you the paper back under the window. Papa, something happened <laughs> when the paper go back on the, the wing. I don't know what happened, but you the one who work here. You tell me to do it. I do it. <laughs> well, Mr. Rodriguez, to be honest with you, you don't have ID. ID. Wait a minute. You don't want to give me the money because you don't have the picture of me? <laughs> Who's taking the money, me or the picture? <laughs> if you need the picture, stupid, do your phone right now. <laughs> the f I need ID. You got me right here, you dumb mother. F <laughs> How do you get this job? You're so f stupid. I try to talk about everybody so they don't feel left out. <laughs> A lot of comedians are scared to talk about the gay community. <laughs> I got gay friends. There's a lot of y'all here. Some people don't like to admit they're gay yet, <laughs> especially men. But I got a few goddamn questions. See, I don't have nothing against gay. I got a few friends that are gay. Right. Now, you got lesbians, you got gay men, and then you got the other ones. <laughs> now, I even talk to my gay friends about the other ones. Now, if you don't know who the other ones are, I'm going to explain to you. I have a lot of respect for a gay man that says, hi, my name is Tim, that's my boyfriend John, we love each other, that's my husband. I have respect for that. I have respect for a lesbian that says, yo, I'm Keisha. This is my girl, Cheryl. them, but the others, those the ones I don't trust, the ones who try to act a little too flamboyant, the ones who do everything extra, they don't act like women, they say they act like women, I ain't never seen a woman act like that, shut up, oh my god, choo choo, piano. what the f*** is that? <laughs> Just over the top for no reason. <laughs> they say they try to recruit regular like me. All they gotta do is look you in the eye and they got you. I caught one looking at me. I took mother. <laughs> what the f is you doing? Dude? man in here that wonder why. Why do they talk like that? Why do they do extra? If you like another man, that's your business. But what is the extra shit? Oh my God. Oh, you killing me. My heart is failing. 
the is that? So dramatic. Just everything is dramatic. Shut up. I will punch all shit. Every man, I don't care who you are, you want to know why. Why you got to go to those extremes. Now I'm a middle-aged man. I found out I was gay for five seconds. <laughs> five seconds, and then I found out why they talk like that. I'm middle-aged. My grandmother told me, go get my prostate check, or you gonna die. Just like that. Go get it checked, or you gonna die. My grandmother ain't holding no punches. I said, what is die? So I went to the doctor. I didn't know shit about no prostate. They don't teach us that in school. I didn't know nothing about it. When you reach a certain age, you're supposed to get this checked. I didn't know. So I went to the doctor, trying to be all smooth. Yo, doc, <laughs> here to get that prostate checked, baby. <laughs> doc said, all right, go in the room, take off your clothes, and get ready. Now, I don't know what a prostate is. So he said, I need you to open up. I said, ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. So he said, no. I'm going to have to ask you to spread your ass. I was getting ready to walk out, but I kept hearing my grandmother's voice say, you're going to die. So I said, all right. I said, doc, is this going to hurt? Said, that's, that's up to you. I said, all right. F it. I'm going to get my prostate checked. Took off my clothes. And what? This is about to happen. I'm gonna tell you women to your face, I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry if, if I ever said this to you. Cause he said it to me. Relax. I'm gonna put a little bit in. and just accept it. Now I'm all men. I don't know if any other men in here had their prostate checked, but when you about to get something inserted into your ass, everything else starts working three times different. My hearing was like bionic. I heard this put on the gloves. Ooh. Digging the jelly one finger at a time. I heard all of this. This man took one finger and I tried to be hard as a mother. I'm a dude from the front. I was like, well, go ahead, doctor. That finger went up my ass. And no matter how hard tried to be, somebody else jumped the f*** out of me. I said, oh my God! What the f*** did you do to me, bitch? I'ma shoot you! Piao! they talk this way. It took me a little while to get back to myself. I was trying to shake it off. I was in between moves. I was like, oh, sh I'm about to go outside. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Sit down. Sit down. I saw 
start to dance, but for no reason, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Ow. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'ma say this to all my gay friends. Be proud to be gay. If you have somebody you love, love them. I remember one time they didn't want y'all in the army. They didn't want y'all in the army and we almost lost the war. But I know my gay friends would have stood up and f***ed the wall up. Cause y'all don't do sh regular. The way we march as men, it's like left, right, left, right. You know no gay marches would go like that. Yo Twan, yes. Yo Twan, yes. You ready to go? I'm ready. Hot two, three, four, hot two, three, four. Fucking war, the Arabs would have said, Muhammad, do you see what the fuck I am seeing? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they are doing. <laughs> God bless y'all. Good night. <laughs>